So what I like to do first is I like to get that pin moving. Then I'll remove the locking pin on the brake bolt. And then we just unscrew it. Sometimes you have to tap it if it's been in there a long time and it's rusty. So I just tapped it out, came right out. Remove the two pads, they should just pop right out once you get that pin out. Take the pads, match them up with the new ones, make sure you have the right pads. And then the pads go back into the caliper. Now if that little earpiece goes towards the back of the caliper, right next to the bleeder screw. And that bolt, remember the bolt has to go through those two pieces. So you're going to insert the front section first and then the brake pad goes right in. Put your bolt back in, tighten it up. And don't forget to put the uh, lock and pin back in. Now I'm just taking the screwdriver and just pushing the pistons in just a little bit. So the new pads will go right over the uh, brake rotor when it's time. At this point, I'm just wiping down the ABS sensor, making sure that's clean. And just cleaning the uh, area in the rear where the axle goes through. Now it's time to put the uh, wheel back on. Got the wheel back from the shop with the new tire. So we're going to put the uh, pulley back in. Get it underneath the bike and get that installed. When you go to do this, it really helps if you have two people. Um, be much easier if you have two people, one on each side, but it is possible to do it by yourself. I like to use a jack to jack the tire up in place. The trick here is to get the spacer and the ABS sensor in at the same time because there's not a lot of clearance here. It's a pain in the butt talks to get that in there, but uh, you can work it, it is possible. So you got to get the spacer on the left, the ABS sensor, and the brake caliper mount bracket all in at the same time. Once you get everything lined up, you can go ahead and put the axle through. Brake caliper goes on, and then we're going to bolt it down. Putting the adjuster on the axle on the right side, and then you're not. Now you're just going to tighten it. I just tighten it up just enough so when I go to adjust the belt, the axle will stay in its place wherever I put it. So get your belt adjusted. And once it's adjusted, go ahead and uh, tighten the rear axle and talk it up. I go ahead and talk everything up. Now I'm putting the uh, left side saddlebag bracket back on. The two bolts that I took off earlier, those are going back in. Brackets for the mufflers back in place. Now I'm installing the locking clip on the axle. And this job is pretty much complete. The only thing left to do is put the covers back in place, put the saddle bags on, and take her for a ride. One other thing is pump up your rear brake and make sure that's working. Good idea to check your fluid too. I like to run the bike and just do a quick check while it's on the stand. Make sure everything's good and after I run it I'll shut it off and double check the uh, tension on the belt. Make sure it doesn't need to be uh, readjusted. 
getting the motorcycle off the lift. I'm taking it for a test ride. sounds really good. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. You all have a great day.